Hey, honey. It's the glasses for me, honey. Okay. No way, guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Alex. Nice to meet you. If you are a part of the Diamond family, you already know what's going on. Hey, honey. So, in this tutorial, guys, I'm going to show you everything from start to finish on how I do my quick weaves. I get a lot of questions in the comments section of my videos about which process goes first. What do I do here? X, Y, Z. So I'm literally showing y'all everything from nappy headed down to slate, honey. So as you see, I've already started off by um, using my little concoction that I use. I, I use this on everybody in my household my son the girls everybody i use it on everybody um and it really really works y'all it conditions your hair it's very very healthy for your hair especially natural hair um so yeah that's what i'm using to basically detangle and moisturize my hair all in one um and then i'm going to go ahead and spray some heat protectant as you saw and then i'm going to blow dry my hair now i will list everything in the description bar bar in the description box i try my best to do that so i will make sure that i put all the products that i use down there so don't forget to check down there don't forget to follow me on ig honey okay we we need to be communicating over there too i love my army so i need to make sure that y'all are staying on point with these quick weave tutorials because i know y'all be out here slaying i know it but anyways back to the tutorial i'm going left I'm going to go ahead and part out my hair um, that I want to use for my leave out. I am going to do a middle part. And like I said, it is super, super natural, y'all. Like literally undetectable. You're not seeing no tracks, nothing that we want it looking like it grew out of our scalp. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and part my hair into the sections that I want to leave out. And then I will proceed from there. No, not this time If you had one more chance You'd blow it every time In every way You ain't know yeah. I'm running so I gotta go If you ain't know okay y'all i'm gonna keep it all the way funky at this point i realized how ashy i was yes i had taken a bath so your girl was really crusty at this point on them elbows so that's what i'm doing i just wanted to include this in there just to show y'all like real life happens okay i don't understand why people get in these tutorials and feel like everything has to be completely perfect like no, honey, that's not real life. My elbows were ashy. They were basically white. So I had to put some shea butter on there. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Anyways, ran over. I'm going to go back to my corner. Ran over. So if you don't mind, can you come over? y'all so now that we are done with the foundation part of this method i am going to proceed with these knee-high stocking caps i got these from walgreens they be in the pantyhose section uh, i prefer to use these more than any other method like the dome cap method or the actual stocking cap the wig cap 
only because these have more grip i guess you could say like the dome cap is definitely thicker um it does provide more protection than anything and then the stocking cap would be second and then this one be last but the way that i do my hair i don't really have any breakage any um any glue left over for real like y'all i take this thing off with that oil sheen my little spray that i used in the beginning like i got a whole video i'll link it up there but yeah that's what i do and i don't have any issues okay y'all so next we are going to go ahead and start the gluing process bonding process whatever you want to call it for y'all technical people um we're going to go ahead and start gluing these tracks i do double track sorry i do double my tracks when i am gluing them down just as i would do on a sewing machine if i was making a wig so what i do is basically use the um, bundle how it already comes you know it comes folded in half and then i cut it down the middle and then i proceed to measure my hair and glue it um you know piece by piece so i do keep them double all the way up to the top um, and then when I do decide to split them off, it's usually because I'm close to the very last track and I want my hair to lay flat. So yes, I feel like it is super important to make sure that you double your tracks when you are gluing them. We can count all the stars in the sky as they pass by your face. Take a trip up to Mars, hold you tight in my arms all the way. Let me know what's 
what's on your mind Let me hold you down, I promise There's a future if you grind with me Crazy and love like J&B It feels good when you say my name Made me wanna rock the boat I ain't tryna float, I'm tryna drown Wanna go deep Never been a scrub or a creep Ain't no ordinary love I peep, I keep it on the low Cause no one really gotta know What we got going on I'm selfish, I want you all the time All to myself, no mic jet But you know the girl is mine Baby, come hey, and talk to yeah. me uh. Jodeci Tryna show you love, this that TLC You're my favorite song, you're my therapy Music for my soul Next, I'm going to take a rubber band and I'm going to put my hair up so it's out the way as I proceed to cut the excess lace off. This part is super, super important, guys. Make sure you take your time. Use your finger to lift up the excess stocking so you will not cut your hair. Trust me, I've done it. Use your finger, okay? And then I'm going to show you guys the time lapse that I actually let my hair sit, which is super important because you don't want to glue all this down and then try to go ahead and cut the hair. I'm sorry, cut your lace immediately after you've actually glued your track and then it slips off like you don't want to do that. So let your hair settle. Let the glue settle on your hair. Let it actually bond to the stocking cap and then proceed to cut. It's a game we play where we're both gonna lose. I know what they say, she should walk away. Telling me it's just a phase. Feelings of your skin pulling me back in. Can't get you off of my brain. How do I let go? Y'all, make sure you're spraying your bundles. You want to protect them from heat damage. Make sure you treat your bundles just like you would your hair. If you wouldn't want to have heat damage on your hair, don't have heat damage on your bundles. It is not cute. Your, end, your ends get all frizzy and nasty and crunchy. It like It's just not cute. Just don't do it. So, I'm going to go in and blow dry my hair. Now, this right here y'all when i learned this secret like i really stepped up my hair game when i learned this secret because i was watching somebody and i was like hmm, why are they blow drying the weave like the hair is dry and then they explained it like it's for volume i was like it makes so much sense y'all make sure you blow dry your bundles before you actually style them it makes a world of difference trust me i will not lead you wrong Blow dry them things, honey. I promise you that thing gonna be swinging in the wind. Now, if you don't know, you better ask somebody because these babies right here, these are my everything, okay? I love these flat irons with every inch of my being. 
I'm going to set my heating, uh, my heat settings to 50, and then I'm going to part out my sections. I do use medium sections. Now, depending on how big you want your curls or how tight you want your curls, um, then your sections should reflect it. But I'm going to use medium sections because I want that kind of tight curl, wavy look. Um, and it'll make sense towards the end. You'll actually see the difference because I actually messed up and curl one too tight. But you'll see what I'm talking about a little bit later in this video. But yeah, make sure you use um, medium sections if you want this specific look. If not, do whatever floats your boat. But as you can see, your girl is using a little more heat protective because we want to protect those edges. I don't have time to be bald on the sides of my head, okay? I am on this natural hair journey. I want to grow my hair. I want to grow healthy hair. And I want my curls to pop back, okay? So make sure you are protecting your hair. Again, I cannot reiterate that enough. Make sure you are protecting your hair. I'm going to go ahead and flat iron my sides and then the middle you will see that my parts in the middle are a lot thinner because that's where I tend to have the most um, heat coming out of my head like me being hot like for real for real y'all me being hot like if you you know how you do your hair and you took y'all really gonna look at me like that like y'all I know y'all judging me right now but I'm not the only person watching this video with a hot head like comment below if you are the type of person where your scalp, you can feel your scalp get hot when you're doing your hair. Like, it can't just be me. But, yeah, I use thinner parts in the middle um, just to make sure the heat is distributed equally and um, to make sure we don't have any puffiness. So, you'll see me do that right now. Usually go away too much pride. But for you, I put it aside. Cause I can't see you with nobody. It would eat me up alive It would eat me up It would eat me up It would eat me up Baby, you know that it would eat me up Okay, so now we are going to further define our middle part. We want to make sure it is as crisp as possible. Um, that just makes it look even more neater and more put together. So try to make sure your middle part is as straight as possible. Um, and then I'm going to use those same leftover uh, pieces that I had earlier, those two tracks, and then I'm going to fill in the sparse area. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, then you know this is like a Hail Mary. Like, this has to be done or your unit just doesn't look good, in my opinion. Burning, day in and now, proud of every mile you make despite the hurting. Keep your spirit safe and sound. And don't be distracted with all the madness. Learn to heal as quick as you feel the power is magic Don't make a habit, don't run yourself ragged Gotta stay in the light, keep a high vibe to be effective
It's the curse of losing in love when your heart is young You think your best days are behind you before they've begun And then somebody new decides to come along He could be everything you wanted but it still feels wrong It's not that I don't wanna let him in it's just my heart is not my own to give He's got the same brown eyes That devastating smile Yeah, he's got something But he's nothing Nothing like you His kisses do the trick His hands give me my fix He gives me something But he's nothing Nothing it's like you tragedy Okay, y'all, this is literally my favorite part. Like, when it comes to styling my units, this is my favorite part, hands down, because you can be so versatile. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you can make it look good. Okay, so what I'm doing is I am taking out two sections at my temple. These will be my guide um, cut. So wherever I start this cut, that is what will frame the rest of my face. Super easy, y'all. Anybody can do this. You do not have to go and spent a thousand dollars to get somebody to show you how to cut hair like it's literally this simple do whatever makes you feel good honey okay now if you ain't got no confidence confidence in it then you know if you want to spend them coins then do you but good sis is here to tell you how to save some coins so i'm going to use this and my cheek the middle part of my cheek will be my guide so that's where i will focus my um my frame and right now I'm just framing my face with, like I said, my two um, side parts and that will be my guide cut. And then I will follow suit around the rest of my head. I will add layers all the way around. And yeah, y'all, it's super easy, super simple. And every time I see his face, boy, it's you I'm trying to replace. But it never works because the truth is, oh, same brown as it's not the same damn smile he may have something but he's nothing nothing like you your kisses did more than this your hands are what i miss he may have something but he's nothing nothing like you you Okay, y'all, so depending on the look that you're going for, that will dictate how you need to curl your hair, right? So for me, I tend to want more volume on the sides of my face, only because I got a fat face. Like, that's just the truth. That's what it is. So when I smile, my cheeks are super, super huge. So um, I like to make sure that I have volume right there um, to not necessarily take away from it, but to just accentuate that part of you know my face if that makes sense so i tend to curl away from my face now i will curl towards my face if i'm going for a more sleek look and i kind of want just that bombshell body wave um then i will curl towards my face so yeah it depends on the look you're going for and um where you want the bulk of your volume if you want it towards the sides of your face then i would advise you to curl away from um curl away from your face yeah I don't know I feel like that's a conundrum but I would advise you to curl away from your face and if you want a more sleek look a more bombshell wavy then I would advise you to curl towards your face but either way go try it and see what works for you Do you gotta be
Something's missing, feel life drifting And I've been wondering where I could visit Booked a ticket, cause I miss it Got me wishing that we were on a vacation to the places The secret places no one used to go but us Like the nape of your neck and that scar I love to touch I know you love to relax at the small of my back Swim through my fingers Get lost in my mind I've been itching, something's missing Feel life drifting and I've been wondering where I could visit Booked a ticket, cause I miss it Got me wishing that we were on a vacation this little piece sticking up sis just bear with me it is a method to my madness I curl all of the weave first and because I have a TWA I curl my hair last so it blends better I feel like this is where a lot of people mess up because the curls that you have in the weave don't always transfer over to your hair especially if you have short hair which is why i feel like a lot of the quick weave videos don't work for people with short hair because you can't curl you can but it doesn't look right in my opinion so i would advise you to curl your hair last and really you're just bumping it you don't want to actually give it a hard curl you just want to bump it so it lays neatly into like the grooves of your actual bundle and this makes it look a lot more natural y'all i'm telling you game changer Next, I'm going to go in with my holding spray. This is the Tresemme holding spray. Again, I will leave all the products in the description box. Um, yes, I sprayed my face. I was too busy fussing at my kids. By this time, they were hungry. They were like, mama, I need you to come on. Like, the beauty session is over. Like, it, it's time to come back to reality. <laughs> so, I was basically trying to hurry up at this point. But, yeah, after I um, spray my holding spray, I just go ahead and take a wide tooth comb. And then I always um, comb my hair away from my face first. And then I pull it back towards my face. Um, I don't know why, but it creates layers and it's beautiful. So, that's just what I do. Um, and, yeah, you just play with it, y'all. Just play with it. Make it make it work for you. Um and as y'all can see, if y'all saw the little hair, you know, sticking up, if you would have curled that with the actual bundles, then nine times out of ten, you would have had to recurl your hair because you would have wanted it to lay flat. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, just leave that part out. Just leave your hair out. Curl all the weed first and then curl your hair last. Okay. 
Now I'm going in with some edge control to snatch those edges, honey. Get those things together because we don't need them wild and untamed. We need them things laid and slayed, okay? Ballin', ballin', ballin'. Yeah, I be busy ballin', ballin', ballin'. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I, be, yeah. I be catching checks like it ain't shit. Loose deep in it. When we go out, always in the vip. Hope to be lit. Running my money up. Watch it up up in the sky. I ain't picking up. That's his dollars on the line. Nah. You know I ain't got the time. Nah. I be busy on the move. People wonder how I made it here. They see me paying dues. Work. I was living check to check. Now I'm whipping something new. Better pay me my respect. I ain't never gonna lose. I'll be ballin'. I would drop it out by a house in New Orleans. New Orleans. Up the empty on them show I'm all important. Yeah. With a Grammy, I'll be ballin' like I'm Jordan. Yeah. Why you hit the snoring? I'll be busy scoring. I would drop it out by a house in New Orleans. New Orleans. Up the empty on them show I'm all important. With a Grammy, I'll be ballin' like I'm Jordan. Why you hit the snoring? I'll be busy ballin', 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 ballin'. y'all and that is it for this tutorial hopefully everything made sense it was easy to understand you guys were able to actually get some good tips and tricks and hopefully you actually try this on yourself i love you guys so so much we are growing like crazy super fast i love each and every one of you let me know if you like this style if you want more videos like this let me know what you want to see next. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Ever since my birthday was the bomb and now I'm detonating. No, you can't relate. You just can't relate. Every day